welcome to yet another show-stopping episode of Eswatini Lifestyle. And of course, this is your wonderful host, Chuki the Mini, who is here to give you nothing but the best of the entertainment and lifestyle scene in the kingdom of Eswatini. I'm so happy you guys already know that line and you say it with me. <laughs> yeah, it's already January and we're just basically in Bonnebu Tiatikten. Sendema resolutions, we're all looking forward into 2023. So, I please get up and go to funky pants and get those beautiful funky pants they're comfortable they make you look sexy and they're the best pair that you need for that working out session let's go lifestyle viewers it is of course the new year and I know that you guys have so many resolutions then and I'm your girl I always have something up my sleeve just for you why not just go back to the gym you know let's go cycling let's go hiking looking sexy looking comfortable and looking funky right now I'm joined by Mfunzi the owner of funky pants Mr. Mfunzi how are you I'm all good and funky how are you <laughs> I'm funky too <laughs> I can see <laughs> well apart from you know the name itself being Funky, how did it come about? Well, Funky Pants is not my brand. Mm. It's owned by Billy Hoffa in Durban. Okay. They came up with the Funky Pants because the brands are bright, funky, and out there. Yeah, wonderful. Why did you guys decide to have a brand here, Funky Pants, like Hey, it, come, it came out mm, by chance. By chance, yeah. Yes, I was in Durban buying Funky Pants, and Billy heard me speak. Let me talk about Swaziland. He said, ah, go set up a branch in Swaziland. Mm. And that's how it became Funky Pants and Sorti. Yeah. You guys are obviously growing. You're growing on social media. People are supporting you. How is How, how does it feel to have so much support, so much, a huge following, even on on the socials? We're not huge. We're still small. But ah, we're growing. Yeah, we're but growing. Look, exactly. We're growing. Exactly. We're growing. <laughs> now, the most important thing about Funky Pants is just that we want people to enjoy mm. being out there. Lockdown killed us two years yeah. sitting at home so dress up go gymming go hiking go cycling and look good mm. well Mfunzi how was the transition of setting up Ifanki pants like Angwan? Uh, it was difficult in the beginning mm. because everyone wasn't outside out there outgoing yeah but slowly and surely people are warming up to funky pants. And to actually show that people are warming up to funky, fa funky pants, sorry, <laughs> you guys have such a huge social media following and you know, more and more of Maswati are starting to embrace um, funky pants. How, how, how does that feel? It feels good. <laughs> yeah. It feels good. I'm just happy. Let's be funky. Let's be comfortable. That's, <laughs> that's what funky pants is all about. Let's be comfortable. So who, who exactly is supposed to be comfortable? Mban look of funky pants. Everyone wears funky pants mm. uh, because they're, they're made for a wide range of things. They're for hiking, yeah. swimming, running, cycling. So everyone can wear them. Even yoga, you can wear funky pants for yoga. Mm. Even yoga. Mm. Oh yeah, that's that's really really good to know. So now coming to like maybe the detailing part of the funky pants, when it comes to like customization and everything, am I allowed to? bring my certain design maybe or you guys always have like pre-ordered things okay we do make custom design you will have to order and you follow the protocol but we make anything, anything. whatever is whatever apart from people knowing you as Mfundi, you know the owner of Funky Pants as Swatini have you always known that you, this is what you want to be a part of Usaku? no I fell into Funky Pants purely by chance mm. I went to Durban to study engineering. I graduated, worked a bit in SA, lost my job. And luckily, when I lost my job, I met the owner of Funky Pants yeah. and introduced me to Funky Pants. And he said, go open a branch in Swaziland. Yeah. And that's how I ended up in Funky Pants as what did. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. But how was the whole transition? I mean, you're from chemicals, whatnot, GG, Zain Bang, Zain Fabric, what's happening? Well, then. Not much of a transition. I think it's because I'm a runner. I do run. I do half marathons. So 
I know what Funky Pants is all about. Uh, engineering is, teaches me to think, Funky Pants, let's be bright and funky. Yeah, let's be bright and funky. So who's supposed to actually be bright and funky? The wearers of Funky Pants. Ladies, men, <laughs> be unisex. We got for men and women. So even kiddies at the back. So yeah, we cater for everyone. Yeah. Fonzi, you are a runner. So obviously you've, you've come across so many different brands in Kumbasa, Gegu, Kichima, Dexaikisha, and then What makes Funky Pants stand out? Well, Funky Pants stands out because as you can see, they're bright. They don't light up. Mm. They don't go down. They're comfortable. They're two layers. I'm sure you can <laughs> attest to that. Most and definitely. they're very comfortable. Mm. The most comfortable pants ever. Yeah. Yes. I've tried all the other brands, but Funky is the way. Funky is the way. <laughs> Just speaking of, you know, Funky is the way. It's, it's the new year. We all want to, you know, switch around our lives. And there's someone watching at home. But see, you know, I want these pants. But like, how do I get a hold of Mfunzi? Okay, you can get a hold of Mfunzi on social media. Yeah. We're on Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, we funkypants underscore Swatini. On Facebook, it's funkypants Swatini. You can also call us on, call me on 7604-0170. Okay, my beautiful Swatini lifestyle viewers, we just had a sit down conversation with the distributor of Funky Pants Swatini Mfunzi. And right about now, we're actually going to be, you know, surfing through the pants. And me, I'll be trying them on. And I have a friend of mine, a very beautiful friend of mine, who's gonna be helping me do that. Let's see. Okay, this is the Funky Pants. This is called the tie dye. And this is the sports bra by Funky Pants. And the Funky Pants have got two pockets, deep pockets, so you can be able to put your phone if you go gymming, or put your car keys if you're at the gym. And that is it. They're bright and colorful, and they're ridiculously comfortable. This is Funky Pants again. This is called the beloved long run Funky Pants. They have a running group. So this is a customized Funky Pants. The same as the other ones, but two pockets. Uh, because she's a lady, she'll kill me. I won't touch her. They don't rise up. They've got uh, elastic and they're two-sided, double-sided, double-sided. So that's why the Funky Pants are the most comfortable pants ever. These ones are the Swazi inspired funky pants. Same great comfort, same great uh, material. Two pockets, we call them Li Hao. These are the best to run with. Funkiness, we've seen the sassiness and we've seen the comfortability. But you know, one thing that I hate us being comfortable in our spaces, we shouldn't be comfortable, guys. We should learn to just dive out and try out new things. So, I had a sit down conversation with one of the life coaches here in Eswatini. He came to places and we had an amazing time just you know, tapping into your goals, you know, finding out about the tools and the knowledge that we need in order to become the best versions of ourselves. Let's check it out. We've stepped right into 2023 and this year is considered to be the Jordan year. Basically, it's the year of personal growth, of people becoming more aware of themselves. And I'm right now, I'll be having a sit-down conversation with the wonderful Kim Duplessis, who is passionate about equipping people with the tools and knowledge they need to become better versions of themselves. 
Miss Plessis, how are you? Hi, hi, that sounds amazing. <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> how has the year been so far? It's been really good. Mm -hmm. So um, I've realized that for a lot of people, we've kind of come out of quite a traumatic space. Mm. The two, year, two and a half years of what COVID did to many people has, has been very difficult, mm. um, very traumatic and very disruptive. Yeah. Um, and so when 2023 started, I just felt, you know what, we, in order to change gears and to level up, we can't just run into this business as usual. Yeah, true. We need to start with more focus and intentionality about what it could look like. Mm. And so uh, January 2023 has been a reflective month for me. Yeah. So I've kind of hit the pause button on all of the busyness and I've just allowed there to be peace in the quietness mm. of uh, sitting and imagining and feeling abundance flow through my system and releasing it. Yeah. Uh, because if we just change gears and we go, 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 mm. we're, we're going to miss yeah, we'll the miss. beauty and, and the potential that I believe sits in 2023 because the pain of the last two and a half years sowed a lot of seeds for people yeah. and we need to now allow those seeds to to take root um, and and to shoot yeah. and uh, so I believe 2023 is is going to be a year of harvest yeah I really do yeah. Um, so yeah you asked me how's it been I I feel already it feels pregnant yeah. Wow. Although hopefully I'm not pregnant. <laughs> so who is Kim and has she always known that this is the path that she wants to take in life? Uh, who is Kim? Mm. Kim has always been a person who loves people. Yeah. Always. So that, that is finding myself in the position that I'm finding myself now has been a journey. Mm. So uh, I feel life takes you on a journey and at some point you mature and you mature into your place and space. And I feel that that is the time of my life that I found myself in. So everything that I've experienced in my life mm. has brought me to this position. So Kim is a person with a heart that is big, yeah. a heart that loves people. Um, a, a deep desire to see people and help them be seen. Mm. So um, I love to set people up for success. I love for people to, yeah, just to experience life in all of its magnificence and beauty. Mm. Um, so the journey that I found myself on as an adult, mm. got married young, I was 21. Wow. Uh, but I've been married for 30 years. Wow. Beautiful. So, um, yeah. just short of 30 years now. And in my first year of marriage, we came to this beautiful kingdom. Mm. And this kingdom stole my heart. And so, I, we lived here for four years as a young married couple. And when I was 25, we moved to the UK, lived mm. there for 14 years. I had two beautiful, amazing yeah. kids. Mm. And then one day somebody said to me, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? And I was like, there's this tiny African country. There's this little circle next to South Africa and Mozambique. And I said, with all my heart, I'd want to go back. And they just said to me, well, why don't you? Mm. And I thought like, oh, why don't I? Might as well. And yeah. within nine months, we had packed up and in 2010, we moved back here. Mm. And so I do believe, I'm, us as a family, we're meant to be here. Mm. I do believe uh, it's a time and a place, you know, for such a time as this. I, I feel that space, um, but not only for Eswatini, I feel like a massive, deep, stirring desire to yeah. see Africa unlocked. Yeah. Not in the, you know, the trendy way of like uh, giving um, lip service mm. to Africa as a continent. Yeah. It's like, no, it's Africa's time mm. for Africa to own her potential and destiny and to rise. And so um, I've had the privilege of being sent out into uh, various African nations. And every time I fly over and land in a capital, I'm like, yes, yeah. this is it. And, and you know, just 
Uh, just in my imagination, beginning to see what, what could be possible mm. if, if Africa could dream for herself, yeah. if, if Africa could, could tap into her greatness and her potential and her place on the world stage mm. as a first-class citizen. You know, Kim, we live in a world full of chaos like this. You know, everything is going on at the same time. And every now and then, the, there's these things that keep, this word that keeps on popping up, affirmation. You know, it's all over social media, it's everywhere. You step outside affirmation, <laughs> you know. What is to affirm? What is the importance of affirmations? It's building yourself up. So if we think about uh, how we are raised uh, and, and what the world throws at us, uh, often it's breaking us down and not building us up. And if I asked for permission to live for an hour inside of your head and listen to everything that you were saying mm. to yourself, yeah. would you give me permission to do that? <laughs> okay, for now, I can give you permission. <laughs> yeah. So we realize, you know, if, if people got insight into the conversations that we're having with ourselves, so it's often said that you wouldn't speak to anyone else the way that you speak to yourself yeah true and true. yeah so, so we, we just end up breaking ourselves down criticizing ourselves and so what an affirmation does is it interrupts that uh, unconscious self-criticism mm. and and an affirmation well crafted is a tool that you can use that allows you to say something to yourself that builds you up in the moment where you would normally break yourself down. And what it does is it creates a foundation for you to build a different life. So if, you, if you're constantly saying to yourself, I don't have money, it's like, I never have money. I don't have money, life is so hard. Yeah. Those are all affirmations. Yeah, and the negative ones. They're negative, yeah, affirmations, negative affirmations. But they're very powerful mm. because our brain doesn't know the difference. <laughs> it just, it just says, oh, those are instructions. Okay. So now our brain is an incredible, our mind is an incredible tool that we've been gifted with to cause our reality. Mm. And so it's a causative tool. So it receives instructions, doesn't judge it, or no, that's not good for Chucky, I mustn't do that. It's just like, oh, you, you keep giving me the instruction that you have no money, so how do I keep creating that in your life? You keep giving me an instruction that uh, I, I have terrible relationships, mm. or uh, I'm so sick. I mean, how often do you hear people say, I'm sick and tired? Oh yeah, every day. <laughs> every day, I'm, yeah, every sick day. I'm sick and tired, I'm sick and tired. So those are all instructions that we're repeatedly giving our mind mm. and then our mind begins to move us towards that reality. Mm. So when you create a, a well-crafted affirmation, uh, you begin to create a different picture mm. and then you're giving new instructions yeah. to your mind mm. um, that then begin to unfold a new reality. Mm. So a simple tool uh, 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 or a simple uh, way of utilizing this tool yeah. is to just decide, so what do I want? Mm. I'm often describing what I don't want. How could I describe this in a positive way? Yeah, so I instead of want. saying I never have money, mm. what about saying wealthy. <laughs> I'm, I'm wealthy. wealthy, I'm healthy, I, I'm yeah. healthy, I live in mm. abundance. Um, I love saying this uh, and, and it, it makes people a bit nervous. I say, money loves me. Yes, as uh, it should. <laughs> it loves me. It, it wants to be in my world. Mm. Um, and when I spend money, I just invite it back. Yeah. So uh, wherever the money goes, I release it with joy and I say, come back to me multiplied. Yeah. And so I, I'm now creating in my world and in my mind a reality where not only is money slipping through my fingers and I'm constantly having to, to grab it back, mm. I'm releasing it with joy, mm. whether it's paying the bills, paying ERS, paying for a new pair of shoes, wherever it's going, I'm saying I release you with joy, come back to me multiplied. Yeah. And then I just leave it. I don't try and make it happen. I'm just giving my internal system a picture to work towards. Mm. And then my natural creativity, which we all have, yeah. will then kick into 
could make that a reality. So now suddenly there's work opportunities that I didn't believe possible. Yeah, you're finding a side hustle, you're finding a way, you know, and, and, and that's how it comes back to multiplied. So, yeah. So coming to the professional side now, connected is it? Mm. You know, it's your baby, your life coach, and yes. really by the words. How coachable are you? <laughs> That's very catchy, I should say. What is Connected all about? What, what does it aim to do? So in a nutshell, mm. and it's my reason for being, Connected is about connecting people to passion, potential and purpose. Yeah. So it's allowing people to discover, and, and not just individuals, uh, leaders, teams, organizations, mm. and I've added their nations to discover their identity, their vision, their purpose, and their power. Mm. And so uh, when, when, and all of that is connected. When you have a vision, mm. it needs to be connected to a purpose. Yeah. You know, just having a vision to have an amazing house, nothing wrong with that. You mm. absolutely do it. Yeah. Have a vision to live in a beautiful space but attach a purpose to that yeah. because when there's purpose attached there's power mm. uh, there's meaning and satisfaction and fulfillment and i will die happy when i know that the people who came across my path and the people that i was given the privilege to interact with mm -hmm. uh, that their their lives opened up for them that uh, there was something in what I said, in the way I behaved, in the way I interacted with them that gave them hope and permission to dream a better dream for themselves. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so connected, first of all, I need to be connected. I need to be connected to myself. Yeah. In, in that theme of connected, uh, I need to be connected to myself because if, I can't give what I don't have. Yeah, true. So I can't journey alongside of you on your journey to self-discovery and identity if I don't know who I am, if I don't have a vision for my life, if I don't... So I need to figure out, okay, so what does it mean for Kim to be connected yeah. to her vision, her power, her potential, her purpose? Then I also need to be connected to my circle, my people, my tribe. Yeah. I need to be connected to the earth. I need to feel that my life on this earth has accountability and responsibility. Yeah. Um, that th so, so it's it's also a connection to this beautiful, magnificent planet that we yeah. find ourselves on. Mm. And then organizations need to be connected to each other. Teams within organizations need to be connected. Mm -hmm. Leaders need to be connected mm -hmm. to their people. Um, governments need to be connected to the communities that um, are going to live under their leadership. Mm. And so I kind of feel it's connected isn't just a great name for my company, it's actually mm. who I am. Yeah, it's who you are. <laughs> and it's what I want people to live. Yeah. Uh, you know, just deeply connected um, is, is powerful. Mm. So I do understand that we have the Enneagram, uh, we have also hypnotherapy, just to name a few of the services that you provide yes. at Connected. <laughs> May you please just like dive into those? Yeah, so um, I basically arrive mm -hmm. wherever I'm invited with a toolbox mm -hmm. and I don't try and make the client fit my toolbox. Okay. My toolbox is there to serve the human or the team or the organization or the nation that shows up mm. in front of me. So in this toolbox, there is a personality profiling tool called the Enneagram, uh, and it's very deep. <laughs> it, it will take people into their shadow lands. They'll be like, oh, no, what have you done to me? Yeah. They'll grow out of it and uh, that awareness will empower them. Mm. Uh, knowledge is power, but self-knowledge is self-empowerment. The Enneagram helps you know yourself. Mm. Uh, there's another tool called Strengths, mm -hmm. which tells you what your gifts are. What, what are you amazing at? Yeah. When you do your strengths, you feel incredible because it shows you what you're naturally good at. And so go out and do that. Yeah, go out and do that. Yeah, if, 
you know that beautiful uh, cartoon that shows the all the animals and uh, the the kind of teacher sitting there at the desk in front mm. of the elephant and the giraffe and you know the goldfish in the bowl and it's like okay your test for today is to climb the tree yeah. and the only one smiling is the monkey because mm. everyone else as well that's not what I'm good at that's not what I was designed for <laughs> so strengths enable you to say I'm the elephant yeah. I am strong and powerful and my role in this world is to use that strength and that power for good yeah so you know Kim I, I think I, I you know I have like that little spark or focus on the Enneagram you know for someone who's probably watching at home right now or just me maybe me you know let's do this for me <laughs> yeah uh, how 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 would you help me you know in terms of like self-development and everything okay so if you came to me and said Kim I, I've heard about this Enneagram I've looked at that diagram mm. and okay so it's not strange it's yeah. like okay there's a science behind mm. that and, and you've resolved all of that. Uh, in, if, if we went the Enneagram route, mm. uh, you would do an assessment. Yeah. It would uh, present you with a report, mm -hmm. 23 pages or 42 pages. You would read it and cry. Mm. <laughs> You'd be like, oh. yeah. And then we would begin to work on it. Mm. So we begin to say, what is your motivation? Why do you do what you do? Yeah. Where is that coming from? Uh, and that awareness of where is the light mm -hmm. within you and where is the shadow? Yeah. Uh, then begins to uh, light your path because mm -hmm. it's like ah now I know why I'm getting so angry uh, why I'm feeling triggered by what's happening mm -hmm. uh, so, so it just suddenly those blink the, the blinds are off yeah and you it's like uh, you can see clearly mm -hmm. and you can see you you then get to observe yourself without judgment but with curiosity oh that's interesting i've got defense mechanisms that are coming up i've got triggers that are showing up i am getting angry or i'm feeling ashamed or i'm feeling fearful ah now i know why yeah and so now that those shadows don't lead you around by the nose you now have power over them because yeah. it's just it's just light yeah awareness is light mm. and maybe before we just close off this interview what words uh, of encouragement can we can you give to my viewers at home and myself <laughs> what words of encouragement mm. so I would say to anyone watching this that uh, you're meant to be here you're not an accident you have power and potential and purpose and you are deeply and unconditionally loved and when you were released to this world you were released with strengths and gifts and talents and even if the world didn't treat you the way that you wanted to be treated uh, that's okay because you still have power and it's your choice whether you tap into that power it's your choice today whether you choose life and so my encouragement for 2023 is choose life. And unfortunately, we've come to the end of today's episode. But the thing is the fact that you tuned in and you stayed with us for 30 minutes. We had fun. And that is what I love. I hope to see you again. Well, I hope you see me again on the next episode. Good night. <laughs>